On your mark. Get set. Go. Hello, and welcome to Mini Music Monday, a subsidiary of the Raw Impressions podcast. Take it away, Lou and Adele. Hello, and welcome to Mini Music Monday, a subsidiary of the Raw Impressions podcast. Take it away, Lou and Adele. Hello, and welcome <laughs> to Mini Music Monday. The, the, fade, the, the fade, fade out. out. The raw fade out. out. Take it away, Lou and Adele. Here we are. We are. It's mini subsidiary. 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 Look, look at me just. R- subsidiary. Like that rolling off my tongue. Subsidiary. Great. Yeah. Subsidiary. 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 Sibilant. Subsidiary. Yeah, these seems like. Seems like. Ugh, blah, 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 blah. You want to start over? La la la. <laughs> <laughs> want to start over? Subsidiary. No, I'm all. Oh. I'm all in. Oh, I'm okay. All in, baby. Okay, because yep. we have the power. Jump. I can. I Two can feet stop first. Stop it. Head first. Uh, we can go back and perfect it. I'm gonna dive head first. Um, this is perfection. <laughs> <laughs> the working things out. It's just part of. It's part of the art, baby. It's part of the performance. I like to think so. Yeah. And sometimes I don't think so. <laughs> and I try to control it and I try to make things perfect. Sometimes when I happen to catch you at sound check for Dinosaur Jr., you do funny things. And I don't know if you're doing that just for me because I'm there or if you're always silly at sound check. What was I doing? You've just sang funny songs before, like in sound check. I do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's one of your things. It was one of my things. It was uh, to entertain our sound engineer (laughs) or get him to comment on it. But then now he just tells me to stop immediately. Okay. And be Mm -hmm. like, okay, Lou, test out your vocals. And I'll be like, look at what's happened to me. I can't believe it. That's enough. Thanks. (laughs) Exactly. I think it was something like that. You just started singing, you know, like... I don't know, a journey song or something. That, I that was, was like, a, wow, that, okay. That was the theme to America's, what was it? Amer- Greatest American Hero? Mm. It was a TV show. Do you know that one? Probably a little bit before your time. Mm. Greatest American Hero? Yeah, it was a, I don't, I never understood was the show. Was it about a stunt person? No, it was about this guy who was a superhero, but he was kind of a clumsy superhero. Oh. I didn't, I would watch the show and I'd have no idea what was happening. Oh. 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 Song. Okay. <laughs> Song commencing after an undetermined amount of snack names. Post is Twinkie. Post is Twinkie. Fritos corn chips. Fritos <laughs> corn chips. Fritos. I felt like I got a gnat in my eye. Potato chips. <laughs> You know I love that organic cooking, I always ask for more. <laughs> they call me Mr. Natural, on down to the health food store. I only eat good sea salt, white sugar don't touch my lips. And my friends are always begging me to take them on macrobiotic trips. Yes, they are. Wow. But at night I take out my strong box that I keep under lock and key. And I take it off to my closet where nobody else can see. I open that door so slowly, I take a peek up north and south. Then I pull out a hostess Twinkie and I pop it in my mouth. (laughs) In the daytime, I'm Mr. Natural, just as healthy as I can be. But at night, I'm a junk food junkie. Good Lord, have pity on me. Well, at lunchtime, you can find me at the Whole Earth Vitamin Bar. Just a sucking on a plain white yogurt from a hand-thrown pottery jar. I sip a little hand-pressed cider with a carrot stick for dessert. Then wiping my face in a natural way on the sleeve of my peasant shirt. When the clock strikes midnight and I'm home by myself, <laughs> I work that combination on my secret hideaway shoe. 
I'd pull out some Fritos corn chips, a Dr. Pepper and an old moon pie. Then I sit back in glorious expectation of a genuine junk food high. In the daytime, I'm Mr. Natural, just as healthy as I can be. But at night, I'm a junk food junkie. Good Lord, have pity on me. <laughs> My friends down at the commune, they think I'm pretty neat. Oh, I don't know nothing about arts and crafts, but I give them all something to eat. I'm a friend of old Yule Gibbons, and I only eat homegrown spice. I got a John Keats autographed Grecian urn filled up with my brown rice. Yeah, I do. But lately I have been spotted with a big mouth on my breath. Stumbling into a Colonel Sanders with a face as wide as death. I'm afraid someday they'll find me I just stretched out on my bed With a handful of Pringles potato chips And a ding-dong by my head <laughs> In the daytime I'm Mr. Natural Just as healthy as I can be But at night I'm a junk food junkie Good Lord have pity on me At night I'm a junk food junkie Good Lord have mercy on me Oh Boy, did I love that song when I was nine years old. I am, it's so modern sounding. Isn't, that, isn't it kind of crazy? I just thought maybe you made that up. I wish. Oh. In my fucking dreams. Who's the, who's the genius behind that one? It's, his name is Larry Gross. He's still alive. Okay. He's 78 years old. All right, Larry. He started a, a show on NPR called Mountain Stage. Which was sort of featured a lot of Americana artists. Neat. Yeah, it had a Mer- yeah. Americana kind of John yeah, Denver. Yeah, he produced that show. I found out. Vibe. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that that song. I bought that single. It was a big Is hit. Is it called Junk Food Junkie? Yeah, Junk Food Junkie was number nine on the Billboard charts, and it was a live version of the song, like in a live, a sort wow. of embellished acoustic version of the song. Huh. And I loved it. It made me crazy. It spoke to you. It spoke to me and it's and it's really like so yesterday. Let me let me I wanna I have to I have to show the path that I followed to covering this song. Because I was going to cover one of my own songs mm-hmm. that I haven't played yet on fire. I was gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Didn't do it. This is why. Okay. Now I've been following Chris Ballou on Instagram. And he was in? He was in the Presidents of the United States of America. Yes. And recently, we connected because we have a mutual friend, and we lived in Boston like at the same time 30 years ago. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to ask him to play with Dinosaur Jr. for the Where You Been shows. Mm. So um, I called him, and he and I talked for like a very long time. Mm. And I got to really like Chris Ballou. And I feel like he has this beautiful spirit about him. Hmm. And I've been following him on Instagram Mm -hmm. and enjoying his posts. Where does he live then? He lives in Seattle. Oh, okay. So, but he seems to split his time between Seattle and Ohio with his wife's family. Oh, okay. Anyway. Mm. um, And his wife's a crafter. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, he posted yesterday that this folk singer had died, who was very influential to him, uh-huh. who had written these kind of whimsical songs. And I was like, oh, that's funny, whimsical folk singers. And I thought of Junk Food Junkie. It popped up in my head. Didn't think much about it. Um, but the guy that he was mentioning is, uh, was Spider John Kerner. Oh, yeah, from Minneapolis. Do you know him? You know who Spider John Kerner from is? From Kerner Rain Glover. Oh my God, he's from Kerner Rain Glover. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you just we put have that, that together. Record. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, we have that record. Yeah, that's one of the very first Electra records, you record collector erectors. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, yeah, holy shit. Yeah. I didn't make that connection. Well, anyway, wow. I didn't. I didn't get to. I didn't listen to his music. I was outside watching Izzy on the swings, mm-hmm. and our neighbor Stephen. Mm-hmm. Called over. He's like, hey, Izzy, do you want any asparagus? And Izzy's like, no. (laughs) He had some fresh asparagus. Don't you like asparagus? And she goes, no. And then, um, (laughs) Lou, do you like asparagus? I'm like, yeah, I love asparagus. And he goes, well, I'll get you some. So he went and he he brought me this big 
thing of asparagus. And we started talking about asparagus. And in the course of talking about asparagus and like how I hated it when I was little, but my family loved it, but we used to go and find wild asparagus. Mm -hmm. And then I said, well, you know that book, Stalking the Wild Asparagus by Yule Gibbons, who was this this big health food writer who was huge in the early 70s. In the and, 70s, And yep. he's name-checked in, in Junk Food Junkie. I heard that, yeah. And then off the top of my head, I sang an entire chorus or entire verse of Junk Food Junkie to a very perplexed Stephen. He's kind of looking at me like, <laughs> where are you going? Because <laughs> I just started singing. I'm like, I sang a whole verse to him and it just came. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I got to cover Junk Food Junkie for Mini Music Monday. <laughs> I thought it was, it's okay. I thought you were going to say, because during the time you were talking to Steven is when I came home Mm. from Trader Joe's. Yes. Which uh, (laughs) is kind of goofy because, so I had driven my parents down to Hartford yesterday morning. The airport. The airport to to go go back to Wisconsin. And... Uh, on my way back, Lou says, stop at Trader Joe's. You know, I had to pick up some some f- lunch stuff for the kids. Mm-hmm. and But I don't shop there often. I mean, maybe less than a handful of times a year, right? It's not that often I, I go guess to Trader so. Joe's. Which is yeah. odd, because there was a time when we went there all the fucking time. Yeah. And now, not so much. I can't remember the last time I was there. So, anyway... There's a good reason why I don't go to Trader Joe's because I go in there and it's as if like, I, I don't know what happens, but all logic just flies out of my brain and everything that I think I needed, I guess I look for that and I get it. But then I just start like, it's almost like one of those TV shows. Of, oh my gosh, did you ever watch those TV shows where they would be like, it's always like women in the grocery store with oh, the shopping cart. I love that. And then you'd be like, you have yeah. 10 minutes to fill this cart. And Supermarket spree or something. I was shit. like obsessed with that That's show when I was younger. Show. I thought oh that was God. incredible. And I would always be like, well, this is what I would grab. Oh, and, yeah. Um, you know, and, the, and they would just be like, just grabbing just mounds of whatever and um that's what i felt like at trader joe's yesterday i just became as, as if i you were was snack, on you were on a big old snack grab i i did a crazy snack grab and i was and then i, I came psyched. home with their organic corn chip frito things I love those. and i know how much you love those and i i kind of hesitated because i was like the food <laughs> The first Should I get these for Lou, or will Fritos. he tell me he didn't want me to get them? Because you go a little crazy on them. Always get them. And then I thought, no, I got to get them for Lou. And so, of course, I grabbed them. But I only grabbed you one bag because, you know, I just thought you'd go, oh, God, not two bags of those corn chip dippers. But anyway, so. I can kind of hurt myself You a can kind of give yourself a little bit of a I, tum tum I, ache. And I, so, go, I go a little bingy on them. You do. Get a little crazy lately, on those I've, I've been corn chip them dippers. I've been dipping them in yogurt. Oh, yeah. yeah, you've really been doing interesting things with yogurt lately. <laughs> well, I don't want to like, just... let me put this in yogurt. I'm like, what? You grabbed like chicken the other day and you put it in lemon yogurt. It's not that unusual. I mean, I mean, Greek. it's not sure, but yeah. it was like a, it wasn't sold as like a Greek yeah. yogurt. It was, it was, it was an odd combination. It was not a typical combination, right. but it could have been, it could have been. I've certainly I don't think done lemon in yogurt many times, but this had sugar. I have the feeling mm-hmm. that someday, yes. when I do something weird like that, when I make a strange combination, it's going to be like a million dollar combination. Oh, it's going to be a fusion. Like, yeah, it's going to be like our lottery ticket. Oh, cool. You know what I okay, mean? yeah. I, I wish I could give an example of what it might be. It could be anything. Well, we don't know yet. It could be anything. It has yet to happen. Well, I dripped. I, I dripped. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't drip. But... I, I did drip today. Um, <laughs> I dipped uh, a pretzel stick in ketchup. That's a bad. I mean, I felt pretty, I mean, it's not like you and I were both uh, scooping up Nilla wafers in little, in, in some butter. peanut butter yesterday, and that felt pretty great. But so... Oh, and also, thank you. Yes. For bringing Nilla wafers back into my life. 
You're welcome. And thank you for making them the small ones because the big ones are just too big. They're too big. Because then I binge on the big one. That, that was a big binge food for me when I was mm. in, when I was in high school and then mm. moving into my early the 20s. Vanilla wafers? Yeah, like when I first moved away from home. Right, well, because the like, song. For some reason, I had to. I would your just mom be, was really into the health food like she resurgence oh, in the, the 70s, thing. That's right? right. So, My mom was all over the, 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 the health food like kind craze, of craze that happened of the, like of the 70s there was this post kind of the beginning of co-ops right yes and it was and we actually we actually oh, went gosh. to a co-op yeah in jackson michigan and my mom would buy almost inedible things to make almost inedible <laughs> food <laughs> oh my god so yeah junk food junkie i used to love a twinkie so much i haven't had a twinkie in like fucking forever i would peel it in half and then lick out the middle and then put it back, and I guess I would eat the sponge. I was like, I guess I got to eat the sponge, but I really liked the... Well, I would go for the Susie Q, mm-hmm. because it was just, you know, these two devil's cakes, oh. and then in the middle, a field, a veritable field yeah, those of hostess so whipped cream, because really, the real the, the X factor that we're talking about... Did you bite is, each end off first, or did you unroll it, or... Unroll it? What do you mean? Isn't that the Susie Q? Do you not know what is? No, a Susie Q is a, is just like a sandwich. Oh, what's the one that's the the roll, the beautiful black and white roll that's covered in a coating of it's chocolate? It's not a ding dong. It's a, it's a, it's a Swiss cake roll. Well, right? that's a, that's Little Debbie. Oh, well, I'm thinking of Little Debbie then. So what? Well, so what? I mean. <laughs> Don't don't you so what me? It's very different. <laughs> Hostess had they they had the versions of the same snacks but different names for different okay, brands. Okay, so I guess I was thinking. But Hostess was... is is particular. I Hostess, I mean Cook. It was it was King or okay. Queen. Yeah, or Queen, of course. It's Queen. It's Hostess, Queen. Duh. Yeah. All right. On that note, I'm hungry. Oh yeah. <laughs> so long. Mini Monday concludes. Thank you for listening.